The second reading is taken from Evangelia Gaudium, The Joy of the Gospel by Pope Francis, his apostolic exhortation on the proclamation of the Gospel in today's world. Preparing to Preach, Article 145 Preparation for preaching is so important a task that a prolonged time of study, prayer, reflection and pastoral creativity should be devoted to it. With great affection, I wish to stop for a moment and offer a method of preparing homilies. Some may find these suggestions self-evident, but I consider it helpful to offer them as a way of emphasizing the need to devote quality time to this precious ministry. Some pastors argue that such preparation is not possible given the vast number of tasks which they must perform. Nonetheless, I presume to ask that each week a sufficient portion of personal and community time be dedicated to this task, even if less time has to be given to other important activities. Trust in the Holy Spirit who is at work during the homily is not merely passive but active and creative. It demands that we offer ourselves and our abilities as instruments which God can use. A preacher who does not prepare is not spiritual, he is dishonest and irresponsible with the gifts he has received. Reverence for Truth The first step after calling upon the Holy Spirit in prayer is to give our entire attention to the biblical text, which needs to be the basis of our preaching. Whenever we stop and attempt to understand the message of a particular text, we are practicing reverence for the truth. This is the humility of heart which recognizes that the word is always beyond us that we are neither its masters or owners, but its guardians, heralds and servants. This attitude of humble and awe-filled veneration of the Word is expressed by taking the time to study it with the greatest care and the holy fear lest we distort it. To interpret a biblical text, we need to be patient, to put aside all other concerns, concerns, and to give it our time, interest, and undivided attention. We must leave aside any other pressing concerns and create an environment of serene concentration. It is useless to attempt to read a biblical text if all we are looking for are quick, easy and immediate results. Preparation for preaching requires love. We only devote periods of quiet time to the things or the people whom we love. And here we are speaking of the God whom we love, the God who wishes to speak to us. Because of this love, we can take as much time as we need, like every true disciple. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Here ends our second reading.